see that could we really go back there is it with us everywhere om shiva shri shakti satyoham how to know that how can we see that could we really go back there is it with us everywhere to see that which is seen physical but how to see the unseeable how to see that which is unseen how to palpate that which is impalpable how to feel that which is unfelt how to hear that which is inaudible you can't do this with outside senses to see the unseeable close the eyes to hear the inaudible close the ears to touch the impalpable stop touching to see this unseeable unseeable in the outward direction should be changed and it should become inward mind exists in two states mind is like a lake the first stage is unsteady flickering and there are ripples as if somebody has thrown a pebble into a calm limpid lake the second stage of the mind is absolutely calm unflickering undisturbed unwavering the ripples are thought when the thoughts are calmed down and it becomes a rippleless lake calm pacific this pacific or calm stage the tranquil stage of the mind where thoughts disappear and this stage 
which is unsteady, which is full of ripples, like a flickering lamp, where thoughts create disturbance, where desires create disturbance. The more the desires, the more the ripples, the more the desires, the more the turbulence. When the attention is turned inward, thoughts start coming down and that inner tranquility, inner serenity comes back. This tendency to move out is a disease. But there is so much attraction outside, why it will go out inside? If I have to give up this pen, somebody should provide me with a better pen, an attractive pen, then only I can give it up. If the outside world is so beautiful, full of attraction, but if I can get a taste, in today's Murli Baba has used that word, taste, sannyasis, they f- understand that there is pleasure or real happiness only in sannyasa and that's why they give up the world and take sannyas in the similar manner when you get a test of this happiness you become Baba's child so when you get a test of internal world the outside world fades into nothingness <coughs> When I understand that the inside world is much, much beautiful, there is pleasure out there, but there is a bliss waiting for you inside. All the worldly pleasures, all the pleasure of the senses are temporary. They are there now and they go away. The very evanescent nature of these pleasures keeps you bound to the world. But when you understand it in depth that there is a world inside where there is eternal bliss and that bliss doesn't depend upon outside support that is an independent that doesn't require any crop any support any stuff it exists on its own it is Sat Chid Anand inside when you want to give up something and if you make a resolve that I give up this there are more there is more likelihood that you will fail but when you take up something new which is more pleasurable more attractive and satisfying than this one, the earlier one can be relinquished very easily otherwise it's an uphill task so our task is to go within and get the test of the internal world The more time one spends in the internal world, contemplating, thinking, cogitating, churning, experiencing, realizing newer truths, the more the the introversion, the more depth of consciousness you achieve. 
Our life is the journey where there should be leap of consciousness, shift of consciousness. So the internal should become more attractive. The internal should become more satisfying. Then only the outside can be given up. And that giving up will not be giving up. A jnani never does tyag. If you use the word tyag, if you give up something, probably you are not jnani. Jnani reaches higher consciousness and higher consciousness doesn't negate lower consciousness. He gets something higher. There are two pieces of sweets with you. One bigger, one smaller, two laddus. If you show to a child which one he will take, bigger one, does that mean that he has given up the smaller? No, he has not given up the smaller because he has got the bigger one. The smaller one is thrown away. The smaller one has become futile for him. So things should become attractive. Then you love them. Then you enjoy them. In the similar manner, there is a world and this knowledge given by Baba. It doesn't appear attractive many times. The world appears more attractive. There is a same repetitive thing. Soul, Supreme Soul, Heaven. I have come now. I am taking you now. And the death is waiting around the corner. And the whole world will get destroyed. You will go back home. And that is your home, incorporeal home. Do service, imbibe virtues, sit in yoga. This is the journey of remembrance. We have heard this times out of number. And that has become almost a commonplace, a cliche. So it doesn't attract anymore. It has as if lost. It's internal charisma. So the need is to create a new viewpoint. To see it as an entire new ball game. So this is the Avyakta Sandesh, Avyakta message, the channeled message of 27th July 2012. Baba has many attractive things here. You know all these messages, they can be converted into drills which we can practice every day. One drill, multiple times. So see what Baba is saying. आज जब अमृत वेला बाबा के पास गई तो क्या देखा कि बाबा सभी बच्चों के बीच में बैठकर दृष्टि दे रहे थे जैसे बाबा दृष्टि देते गए वैसे सभी के चेहरे बदलते गए सारी सभा जैसे फरिश्तों के रूप में चमक रही थी तो बाबा बोले आज जैसे सब बच्चे वतन में इकट्ठा हुए हैं तो बाबा भी इन्हीं को एक इन्हों को एक सीन दिखाते हैं बाबा आगे चले गए और हम सभी पीछे पीछे चले वहाँ एक बहुत बड़ा सर्कल था so Baba is showing new things, some attractive things. The children were gathered, Baba had given them drishti. They were all like angels and Baba took them and there was a circle. वह सर्कल कमल पुष्प समान बना हुआ था. Baba ने कहा यहाँ हरेक इस कमल पुष्प में बैठ जाओ. सभी कमल पुष्प समान चबूतरे में बैठ गए. तो बाबा ने कहा आज बाबा सभी बच्चों को पिकनिक करा थे सब बैठ गए सब बहुत अच्छे लग रहे थे जैसे हम बैठे तो सर्कल चालू हो गया सो दिस इज अ सर्कल एंड देयर आर सीड्स एंड दे आर लाइक लोटसेस ओके सो बाबा टुक ऑल ऑफ देम एंड हेल्प देम टू सिट सो दे ऑल सैट इन दिस सर्कल ऑन दैट लोटस एंड व्हाट हैपेंड आफ्टर दैट 
स्टार्टेड मूविंग जैसे हम बैठे तो सर्कल चालू हो गया बाबा बोले हर एक बच्चा अभी यह संकल्प करे कि एक सेकंड में कंट्रोलिंग पावर रूलिंग पावर हमारे में है या नहीं एक सेकंड में अशरीर बन जाओ सभी ने पुरुषार्थ किया तो कोई सेकंड में बने कोई नहीं बाबा बोले अब आवश्यकता किस बात की है ऐसी अचानक बातें आएंगी जो आपको एक सेकेंड में अशरीर फरिश्ता व ब्राह्मण सो देवता एक सेकेंड में जो स्थिति चाहो वह बन जाए ऐसा पुरुषार्थ करना है फिर बाबा ने चक्कर लगाए तो सब एंजॉय कर रहे थे फिर सभी चबूतरे से उतरे तो बाबा एक पहाड़ी पर ले चले जहाँ एक सेकंड में जो चाहो वह बन सको की ड्रिल कराई सब भी यह ड्रिल करते हुए बहुत खुश हो रहे थे सो बाबा टुक एवरी वन टू दिस सर्कल ही मेड देम सिट देर दे ऑल सेट एंड ईच सीट वॉज लाइक अ लोटस फ्लावर एंड देन इट स्टार्टेड मूविंग एंड वॉट वॉज द ड्रिल इन वन सेकेंड now become bodiless this is the drill now become bodiless <coughs> assume any form angelic brahmin incorporeal deity anything but do that in one second so we can also create such and drills like this so just close your eyes and sit and enter into the world of light and there is a circle there and there are seeds of lotus is kept there all those who are sitting here feel as if you sat in one of those circles and the circle has started moving the experience of super sensuous bliss the lightness no feel as if i am an angel my body is full of divine light there are no more bones muscles i am the being of light thoughts are light body is light ineffable peace i am an angel of light i am a divine angel the mind is calm as if thoughtless rippleless om shanti <coughs> our mind is like a muscle the more you exercise the more powerful it becomes if this hand i don't move and this hand i move this will become powerful this will become less powerful the more you use anything the efficiency increases if i don't use body loves to move remember that this body loves to move energy loves to move if you don't move the body gradually you will become listless lethargic lazy put on weight and further lazy 
obesity induces a sort of depression when somebody is overweight there is a sort of low feelings because fat stores lust muscles store energy that's why movement is very important i'm not just talking of mind i'm talking of body when you move when you exercise for one hour see what energy is there within you not in the body but in the mind also in the body the dopamine is released there's a pleasurable feeling so when you feel depressed start exercising start doing jumping jacks start cycling start jogging start running hit the gym rather than hitting the bed start exercising a new energy a new verb a new power would start pumping in the system just as body loves to move the mind is just like a muscle if you want to build a muscle what is the technique give stress to the muscle the muscle fibers break and when you are in the state of rest they join but with renewed energy and they grow that's why people develop such big muscles how when they exercise muscle fiber break and they rejoin during the period states of rest and they grow that is the technique and that's why rest is equally important similar manner mind should also be given such exercises if you don't exercise the mind will become lazy otherwise also it always seeks the path of least resistance it loves to go down but when you practice this spiritual drills ruhani drills it starts becoming powerful the resilience increases the power increases the strength increases the mental strength increases the emotional strength increases you become emotionally stable emotional body is most difficult to control we have four types of bodies physical body emotional body mental or intellectual body and spiritual body out of these four the most difficult to control is this emotion emotional body emotion there are four types of hunger physical hunger emotional hunger mental hunger and spiritual hunger this emotional body and emotional hunger is very difficult to control so such spiritual drills are needed so that gradually this emotional body starts coming under your control you learn something more about yourself imagine those moments of sudden fear what happens moments of fear what you do you try to run away from that emotion after that fear goes away and you never think of it but after a period of time it again comes up somebody is speaking something against you you hear there is a sudden fear what you do you run away you don't face that fear that fear becomes all the more powerful that is why such spiritual drills are needed so this is such a beautiful drill go in the subtle world see different lotuses and whom you want to see along with you whom you you can choose anyone your greatest friends and your greatest enemies <laughs> make them sit there <laughs> and move around the size circle and as you move in the circle see that they all have become angels practice bodilessness in one second practice becoming an angel in one second practice becoming a deity in one second practice becoming extremely pure in one second in today's sakar murli baba said just as we we miss i miss god hum are pure you also become pure only pakke sanyasi only who are pakka pakke sanyasi they alone will enter into the 108 garland not others those who have controlled mastered their senses they alone will enter into the world of 
Suryavansh. The rest who have not controlled their senses, the senses still deceive them. They will enter into they will not enter the world of sun but enter the world of moon. So where you want to go? Both. <laughs> First where you want to go, that is more important. So I'll just read out again. This is such a beautiful drill. You can practice this drill throughout the day today. So Baba took us to one place. Vaha ek bahut bada circle tha. Vaha circle kamal pushpa saman bana hua tha. Baba ne kaha yaha har ek is kamal pushpa mein baith jao. Sabhi kamal pushpa saman chabutre mein baith gaye. To Baba ne kaha aaj Baba sabhi bachcho ko picnic karate. Sab baith gaye. Sab bahut achche lag rahe the. Jaise hum baithe to circle chalu ho gaya. Circle started moving. Baba bole har ek bachcha ab yahi sankalp kare ki ek second mein controlling power ruling power hamare mein hai ya nahi. Rule, Shashan. Control means Sayam, Niyantran. How much I rule over myself, how much I control the senses. Ek second mein asharir ban jau. Sabhi ne purushat kiya to koi second mein ban saka, koi nahi. Baba bole ab awashak tak is baat ki hai. Now is the need. Of what? Aisi achanak baate aayegi. Jo aapko ek second mein asharir farista, wa brahman so devta, ek second mein jo sthiti chaho, wa ban jai. Aisa purushat karna hai. Now you have to do such purushat. Such effort. That you don't talk in terms of hours or days, weeks, not even years. Not years, not months, not weeks, not days, not hours, not minutes, but seconds. You are becoming subtle and subtler and subtler and subtler. Everything is... Now you cannot afford to sit and talk waste. And waste your time. The moment you finish your job, your work, your duty, your seva, you just enter into a cocoon. Into a... You become underground. Totally silent. Because there is so much work to be done. So much sanskars you have yet to work on. Aisa purushat karna hai. Phir Baba ne chakkar laga hai, toh sab enjoy kar rahe te. Phir sabhi chabutra se utre, toh Baba ek pahadi par le chale. That we will see tomorrow. What is happening in the mountain. <laughs> so he will take you different places. So wherever, whichever places you go, do a creative yoga. Create a new yoga which you have never done before. When you see a tree, think that I am sitting on the tree and doing yoga. When you see a mountain, create that mountain had become mountain of light. And now I am also becoming light. So light, body is sitting on the mountain of light and doing yoga. Jaha ek second mein jo chaho, vaha ban sako, aisi drill karai. Sabhi yaha drill karke, baut khush ho rahe the. So the mind needs drills. Just as body needs exercises, drills, mind also needs drill. So when mind is made to do drills, it will become powerful. It will become, it will enjoy more. New chemicals would be released. New neurotransmitters would be released. You know, scientists have discovered one new transmitter. Dopamine, serotonin, adrenaline, noradrenaline are known. But now they have found out a new one. They called it anandamide. <laughs> so this ananda, they will give you bliss. You search about anandamide, you will find a lot of information. Anandamide. So new chemical that will make you feel Satchid Ananda Swaroop. In today's Murli, that word has come. You will get that taste, just as sannyasis have get, got the taste. You will get this taste, a new taste of Ananda. What is Ananda? And the new things will happen. So, enter the spiritual gymnasium and become a spiritual gymnast. Om Shanti.